Hey there, I'm some guy from the internet. I'm starting a new game of Star Ocean, The Last Hope. Which I was gonna call the new Star Ocean game, but considering it came out in 2009, it's not exactly new. Uh, just new to me, because I haven't known the console since PS2, so... Console exclusives like this, uh, kind of went by the wayside. Well, I AD, like the franchise. 2064. Planet Earth was on the brink of destruction. Then what happened? Clashes between the World Republic Federation and the various nations that opposed it sparked the outbreak of World War III. Weapons of mass destruction, deployed with complete impunity, raised the land in the blink of an eye. People believed it was the end of the world. The dire situation forced the two opposing factions to negotiate a ceasefire, reaching an agreement in only two weeks. However, the war may have ended, but its effects remained. With the deteriorating environment, Earth's population was drastically reduced. Those who survived the conflict lived a confined existence, trapped in underground cities. Countries joined together to form the Greater United Nations and turn their eyes skyward to space. With the establishment of the USTA, or Universal Science and Technology Administration, man began to seek new worlds beyond the stars. AD 2087, the first year of the new space date calendar. Thanks to the success of Professor Trillis Bakhtine's warp drive experiments, mankind's dream inched ever closer to reality. The USTA secretly began to implement its SRF project, the Space Reconnaissance Force. Space Spies. Space, Space Date 10. At last, the first official SRF mission. On force. This moon base will be the start of our travels. <laughs> I bet they're rehashing all this stuff at the ceremony. Oh my god, you just rehashed the opening video. All right, guess I better be going. Of music. Like that kind of rehashing. Edge. <sighs> I knew you'd be hair here. An outfit like that? No way, he's the pro. Boy, I just can't get away from you, can I, Raimi? How long do you think we've known each other? I know all your hiding places, Edge. Yeah, you've been hanging on to me for as long as I can remember. Are you my remember how you'd always cry when I wasn't around? Sure took the fun out of playing hide-and-seek with you. Th that was ages ago! How long are you going to keep treating me like a child? As long as you're so quick to flare up like that, I guess. <sighs> if you're here, I guess the departure ceremony's over, huh? Anyway, there's still some time left until we take off. I'm gonna work out a few kinks in the battle simulator. Uh, sure. Hey, wait a second! You skipped the ceremony on purpose, didn't you? Yeah, well... I thought I was gonna be able to meet a real hero. I might have gone if Commander Kenny was there, but Shimada's pontificating would just put me to sleep. That's USTA Deputy Director Shimada to you. I know Besides, I didn't want to see Crow gloating over his success anyway. It just really bugs me. And you call me childish. You just better not be late for launch preparations, you hear?
Evil walls can't even still go away. Yeah! 
take that! Right. Take that. Yeah. 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 There. Take that! There! Yeah. Yeah. There! Yeah. Yeah. Back to the actual battle thing now that I learned how to do that special technique thing. Oh well, guess I'm moving on. Eventually. SRF 001 through 004 commencing auxiliary engine power adjustment. You imbeciles! Are you trying to make me look bad? Sir, we're terribly sorry, sir. It won't happen again. Please accept our most sincere apologies. 
Someone said attention on deck. They attention on deck. Then they stand at attention. Don't just psychically know. Moon Base Commander Stephen D. Kenny, reporting from Earth, sir. Ha! A rather leisurely return for the great Earth hero, Lightspeed Kenny, wouldn't you say? Minute man, huh? It hardly bodes well for the commander of such an important mission to miss his own departure ceremony. My apologies, Deputy Director Shimada. Truly, I am blessed with a superior of vast kindness and understanding to have been assigned trivial duties at a time like this. Hmm. Very well. I leave the rest to you. I'm exhausted, Commander. I had to oversee the ceremony in your place, you know. In any case, the guests seemed pleased. It made for a fine dawn to the age of space exploration. <laughs> a number of governmental officials were expected to attend the ceremony, sir. The presence of the commander would have just been a distraction. I'm sure that was his concern. It doesn't matter. The ceremony is just a formality anyway. We'll celebrate their departure from here. Yes, their departure. Alright, I'm guessing that's uh, Claude's great-great-grandfather or something. I think second Star Ocean takes place distantly in the future. Somewhat distant future. This is like the dawn of space exploration, it seems like. Kind of like when they made the, that Star Trek series that was early instead of late. Smoother once I 
understood that there's a Rashima and that it 